What's up guys, it's Cody here. And today we're gonna to be talking about something that I have wanted for quite some time now. And that is an Eames lounge chair from Herman Miller with one tiny little caveat. This one is about 10% of the original price because it's a replica. Now, the reason I got a replica is because these things are so expensive and I finally had this epiphany where I was like, I will never have enough money to spend that kind of cash on a chair. So what did I do? I went to Amazon, Eames Lounge Chair Replica, boom, found it for 10% of the price, purchased it, love it. I wanna tell you guys about it because I think you guys are gonna like it too. Now, before we get into that, a quick word from our sponsor. With over 300,000 images, Graphic Stock has the largest unlimited download library of graphics, photos, and vector images on the internet. Most sites will charge per image and cost upwards of $30 per image. Graphic Stock, on the other hand, gives you unlimited downloads with your membership. And I'll have a link in the description for you guys to get a seven day free trial, which will allow you to download 140 pieces of content. And if you wanna sign up for the annual plan, it's only $99 per year. All members come with a 100% royalty agreement, which means you can use this content even in commercial projects without having to worry about copyright infringement. So be sure to check out the link in the description below or check out graphicstock.com slash YouTube for more information. So as for this review, I'm going to be talking about the things that are going to matter the most, because what's the first thing that you think of when you think of getting a replica or something or a clone of something or a knockoff brand of something? First of all, it's quality. So is this quality going to be on par with a Herman Miller Eames lounge chair? We're going to go over that. So we're going to talk about comfort, price, build, and of course, sexiness because this thing oozes sexiness i got this because of how damn sexy it is you guys are gonna love it i promise you that so first let's talk about build this thing took me a long time to put together and that's probably partially my fault because i am very stupid and i didn't follow the instructions like i was supposed to but i ended up putting this thing together like three times and my back was killing me by the time that i was done but I finally got it together and the parts were actually a lot better than I thought they would be in terms of quality. So the style that I got was the black walnut. So this has genuine real Italian leather with the classic plywood Eames lounge chair walnut on the underside. Now the reason that I chose that is because I just thought this would kind of go with everything a little bit better. I had a hard time deciding between the black leather and the white leather with the walnut. It looked really good. In the pictures, I just don't know what I would think about it once I actually got it in my house. So on the official Eames lounge chair, you actually have five legs on the stand for the ottoman as well as the chair. And this matches that exactly. So that's gonna give you a more official look if that's what you're looking for. And you can also see here as we go up the back of the chair that we have these nice aluminum back braces, which of course, will match the aluminum cast base as well. And of course we have the multi-layer plywood, which will match very similarly to the official Eames lounge chair. Next question, is this chair comfortable? I was actually very, very scared that this was not going to be comfortable, that it was gonna be cheap because of how cheap it was. And I can tell you right now, that is not the case. This is actually very nice. The angle in which this chair sits is almost perfect. It's not perfect, but it's almost perfect. I'm the kind of guy that likes to lean back way back in my chair, probably more angled than most people do. So this obviously sits at a very good angle for probably 90% of the people in this world, but I would like it if it was just a little bit more angled back. But at the same time, this isn't a recliner, it's a lounge chair. So it basically lives up to that name. Now I've had it in my living room, I've had it in my office, and right now I'm keeping it in my office because I have you know, my 4K OLED TV in here, and I literally just sit in this thing and I watch movies, I play video games, or if I want to, just surf on my iPad. Now, if you like Lazy Boys, and Lazy Boys are awesome, don't get me wrong here, but the first thing that you look at when you think of a Lazy Boy is, wow, that looks really comfortable. Now this, you look at it and you think, wow, that looks sexy as hell, and it looks comfortable but this is something that actually looks modern. It's like mid-century and it just looks like it can be or would be the focal point of a room. But now let's talk about price. Price is what drove me 
to this chair right here. This was like, I'm pretty sure the cheapest one that I could find because there are replicas that are still like $1,200 of this chair. This one was $570. Now I think I had to pay for shipping, which was I think 40 or 50 bucks. So at $570, we are talking a fraction of the price that you would pay in order to get an actual official Eames lounge chair. Because those things, like I said, go from 4,000 up to $8,500, depending on what type of wood you get and what type of material you get uh, in exchange for the leather. And I realize that I'm like praising this chair like crazy. Let me say right now that I paid for this with my own money. This is not an advertisement for this chair. This is just something that I've wanted for a long time and I finally got my hands on it and now I'm like a kid at Christmas at this point. So the next thing we wanna talk about, sexiness. Is this thing sexy as hell? Absolutely, look at this thing, look at it. You can't stop looking at it, it's gorgeous. And you'll see actually Lou from Unbox Therapy, he has one, except he, I'm, I almost assure you that he has a real one. Now I'm not on Lou's level, like I can't compete with that. He's got, I mean, have you seen my office? This is my, I'm standing in my office. You can see the end of my office. Lou has like a, I don't even know, like a fortress. But if you go look through like his Instagram photos, you'll see he has one of these Eames lounge chairs uh, in his office. Now, if you're a gamer, this thing is perfect for gaming, for me anyways. Of course, if you're gaming on a PC, this is not for you. You definitely don't want this, but console gaming where you can just like sit back, chill, and just have a controller in your hand, this is absolutely perfect. Now there's a couple reasons why I wanted to do this video. One of them being it's going to be in a separate video and I don't wanna do a full review of it, so I'll just point you guys back here if you're interested in the chair. The second is that I couldn't find any real good replica reviews of these chairs anywhere and there are a ton on Amazon and it's like almost overwhelming trying to pick out the right one. So of course I'll link the one that I have uh, in the description below if you guys want to check that out for yourself and also put a few other ones down there that I almost uh, purchased as well that has some similar ratings as well as some similar materials. Alright guys hope you enjoyed the video and if you did make sure you hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. Of course, you guys want to see more videos like this, as well as videos about tech, Apple, jailbreak, anything else that I want to talk about, like a chair, then be sure you hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video.